can't see anything right now. Okay, so hi guys, maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can see me, maybe, I don't know what's going on. So it's been forever, sorry, um, but I'm back because <laughs> I read a book and it was awesome. Whoa, that sounded bad. I didn't not read a book since the last time I was here. This is just the book that I'm telling you about now because it was so awesome. Ignore the cars driving past my house. Okay, so this book is called Tiger Lily, and it's by Jody Lynn Anderson. And how I don't know how to sum up my feelings about this book because it's so awesome. Like I don't I don't understand how to convey to you how absolutely and completely kick ass this book was. Um, it's Peter Pan as a retelling, but it, it focuses on Tiger Lily and the love affair between Tiger Lily and Peter Pan, which has always been like my secret headcanon. Like I always thought that before Wendy got there, him and Tiger Lily have been like, and they have in this book, so that was good. But it's told from the perspective of Tinkerbell, which is just so good because Tinkerbell is one of my favorite characters in Peter Pan and I just fangirled all over the place while reading this book multiple times. I had to set it down because it was so awesome. The language is so poignant and it hits and it's beautifully told and it, uh, it's, it's almost like reading poetry in novel form, not, not as in like stanzas and whatever, not like um, Ellen Hopkins, but as in it just it flows really well. There's a really great rhythm here. There's a voice to it that is just amazing. It's the imagery is mind blowing. Like I don't know how to convey to you to go read this book. Like immediately. I don't care if you're not a Peter Pan fan. This is a really good book in general and because I am so invested in Peter Pan in the first place, I really can't see anything right now. Um I really double triple loved it, but um I love the way that Tiger Lily was portrayed. She was a strong, silent warrior girl. She was a tomboy. She wasn't beautiful and everyone looked up to her. She was an outcast and, you know, she was plain looking and Peter Pan fell in love with her anyway. And how awesome is that? How awesome is that? Really awesome. Really awesome. And uh, Peter was portrayed really awesomely. Like, he, he was made into a well-rounded character. He wasn't just this mythical boy who could do anything and could do no wrong and was childish and awesome, he had flaws and he had quirks and he was an actual person, to me, which was great. And the hierarchy on Neverland was so well thought out and it was, oh my god, it was amazing. Um, so I'm going to stop saying that this book was amazing. I'm going to try to find different words. It was outstanding and exciting and romantic and captivating and all of those good adjectives that you would love to find in a book. There was action and romance and symbolism and intrigue and friendship and betrayal and plotting and pirates and mermaids and just go read it because it was great. Um, I'm really am going to try to start putting up a lot more videos. So, um, yeah, it was good talking to you guys again. Uh, Tiger Lily, Jody Lynn Anderson, great book. I mean, awesome cover too. Look at that. And it's actually her, like, curled up in a ball, and it's, like, really tight. All right. Well, yeah. So you guys have a good one. I hope you read this book. It's amazing.